Imperial Bikers Go, if you don't know what this is, just go. Leave. Get off the channel. This little guy was one of my favourite figures from back in the day. I had many Star Wars adventures with these toys. I think really they made Star Wars a constant in my life from that moment. Now 35 years later and I can have my own life size figure. But unlike the toy with all the things I could see wrong with it even as a child, this replica is almost flawless. This is about as close to owning an original Scout as I'm ever going to get. <laughs> The latest RS replica stormtrooper, Imperial Biker Scout. Here it is. These guys are just cool from the get-go. They've just got that speed to them, which is for me is pure Star Wars. <laughs> and it's something that Star Trek always like. Let's have a run through it then. Okay, let's start with the helmet. It was a, a turning point for us with, with what we could do with replicas and studio made um, original props. Screen lineage armor. This is what it's all about. This is what RS is all about. It's replica props. That is the baseline. That's where we always come from. So it's a private collector. It's staying private. It was all part of the agreement to even make this possible. That's it. That's where it's all. That's the story, basically. That is where it's from. It's studio made. You can see all just the details details just speak for themselves really. We're super excited to make this happen and it's only possible because of the community and because of the other like-minded people out there that want this, that want the same as us. That's what it's all about. So this is on pre-order on the website. Why are we doing a pre-order? <sighs> we try and stay away from pre-orders. So the pre-order, yeah, we don't like to do it. Because of the complexity of this suit of armour with the soft parts, we need to get made with our, our partner's IB. Then we need to get some sizes in and, and get the ball rolling on it. This is the prototype. This has allowed us to identify the small amendments that we need to make. Just stitching details, the size of the pockets, um, the webbing material. It, it's all small things. The cummerbund, this is a very interesting piece of the suit. And that, that that's something that we've really been developing over the last few weeks to to get that absolutely spot on so this is the pre-order is allowing for that to happen with there's also other small changes that are going to be made we've got the uh, greeblies that we're all making from the same original model kits that ilm used so there's there's a little bit of work there's a little bit left to go just to perfect this so that everything else complements the um the screen accurate armor okay we did have a few questions on the last vlog about the mannequins and the poses and stuff. Here's a bit of an insight into how we created the Scout. I do believe it's competition time. Right. <laughs> Let's pick a winner. One prize left. This is the prize. This helmet. We're drawing. We're drawing. It's not going to come up with that address, is it? I have no idea. I can't actually see what it says. Mm. Who's won it? I don't know. Clarky's won it. You can read it now. Oh, I can read it now. Who is it? Last one, Ken. You've won a helmet. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on notifications. See you later. Info out, info out, info out. I get f***ing edited into f***ing <laughs> Mike's headroom. I'll kill the